All right, so in a previous video, we talked about how kids come in with either an owl, a meerkat, or a tiger brain. An owl being that wise, good decision maker, nothing else is distracting them. A meerkat is on high alert, looking for danger. And a tiger is ferocious because they feel threatened or they feel unsafe. So I'm gonna do my best to show you what each one of those would look like as they come into your classroom in the morning so that hopefully you can catch those meerkats before they turn into tigers. All kids are different though. Good morning, Miss Aaronsburg. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you the funniest thing my little brother did last night. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you after morning work. Owl, came in chatty, smile on their face, knew exactly what to do next. Primary thought in that child's brain was telling a funny story and getting started on morning work. Best way to keep them in owl brain is to retaliate that warmth, let them tell that story and just keep things positive. Good morning. Oh, hey. Did you have a good evening? Uh, yeah, it was all right. Meerkat. A meerkat comes in already looking for danger or trouble. Very guarded, noticed the book bag still in the back and takes a second to warm up. Let that meerkat know that you can see them and offer your support in either a, hey, are you okay? It might just be a subtle touch on the back, like I'm here. Give them the opportunity to share with you if there's anything wrong, but in general, just start with a positive morning, a feeling of safety and calm. Because if not, and you let it go too far, they can turn into a tiger. And with the tiger, it can show up in a couple of ways. The first being, don't look at me, I want to pretend like I'm invisible. The second is ferocious. What? Stop looking at me. You Triggered like that. I would strongly suggest not yelling at a tiger because at that point you become the focus of their attack. A tiger could use a space like what's behind me. Remind them that they're in a safe space and what consequences could come with them not being able to calm themselves down. You have to be a cheerleader of the tiger at this point. Say things like, look, I don't want you to get in trouble. I want you to be in here with me. I just need you to settle down. If they feel isolated and even more backed into a corner, it's only going to get worse. There are so many different strategies that work for so many different kids, so it is not a one size fits all situation. But if we just take time to see the kids that come into our classroom and their body language and how they are, it can help everyone have a better day.